Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have somewhat of an important meeting to attend. Um, so this is just going to be a very, very quick video. I want to show you guys what I do to my hair when I like have something a little bit more professional to attend um, and I want something like a little bit neater. And today I'm actually going to be doing like a fake me out retwist around the front of my hair because I actually am retwisting my hair um, in a couple days anyway. And I really don't do this often, but I do it when I need to. So we are gonna try to do this whole pinup situation. These are like, this is what my hair looks like after my pipe cleaners have fallen out on their own. So I'm gonna dampen it, pin it back, and see what I can do really quickly to it. Taking some water, and I'm just gonna drench it as much as I can. Okay, so my hair is pretty damp. Today my oil of choice is gonna be my Jamaican black castor oil. I choose this when I need something that's just gonna work. It also has a lot of um, weight to it, so I actually am gonna need that because I'm not gonna be um, using any gel or anything like that. Um, and it just really helps to like mold the hair and stuff. So I'm gonna use this all over and then I'm gonna focus it around my edges to do the little faux retwist kind of thing. It also adds a lot of shine, which I love. And it's just a very dependable oil. Like I always say, if I needed just one oil to keep and only use one oil on my hair, it would be my Jamaican black castor oil. So if you haven't got your hands on some yet, I will link it down below. You should definitely try it out. Um, I have here the extra dark, but they all kind of work the same to me. So I'm gonna take my little comb and you see where my part is kind of like kind of fuzzy up here. This is probably as straight as it is going to get without me hurting, hurting myself and like popping my hair. So this is what we have. I'm gonna take my brush and just kind of brush the, the roots only. Oh, we're getting somewhere okay what I want to do is push the hair back as much as I can and then the front two rolls right here is what I'm going to try to twist so I'm not gonna do like a comb out retwist situation I'm not gonna do that I'm just going to quickly like roll and lay the hair down I'm gonna take a piece, roll it, lay it behind my ears, very fast and easy. Just enough so that the hair lays down. I'm not gonna do anything else. Taking a bobby pin, I'm just gonna secure the sides. Just like that. So the hair is pinned down. The next thing we're gonna do is just lay down the edges. I'm gonna take some of this Design Essentials Edge Tamer and I am gonna use more than I would normally use today. Just because, like I said, I really want like just a very sleek look. Next, we're just going to comb the edge control forward. And I always say this, but anytime you have to use edge control, you wanna make sure that you're combing the edge control away from your locks. That's just my um, my recommendation so that it doesn't like get up in your hair, you know, for the most part. Last thing I'm gonna do is take my scarf and just tie this down for as long as I can while I get dressed. And then we should be good to go. Take that. And this will, um, tying it down is going to take care of all those hairs in the back that were like, that you saw sticking up. Because the hair was like a little bit moist. 
before it should hold you know pretty well so yeah i'm gonna go ahead put something on and then come back and show you guys what my hair looks like at the end i took off my scarf um and as you can see my hair is pinned down laid down this is what i love to do it's so quick and easy and a way to just kind of snap your hair to look like in place hopefully this will be able to help someone who i know a lot of us are getting back into work and having meetings as well thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Bye.